All right, we're working with arc length and area of a sector because they are very similar. They are parts of a circle. Arc length A to B is the distance on the circle from A to B, not a chord AB. Yes, it's a 60 degree arc, but how far is it in inches? And then area of a sector is, you know, how, how, you know, how much of that is colored in? What is the piece of the pie? What's the area? What are the feet squared, centimeters squared, meters squared? You know, so we got area of pi r squared, and we got 2 pi r with circumference. So they're together also because we solve very similar. I tend to write the fraction always part over all equals part over all. That's part of the circle in the top part, all the circle in the bottom. I also tend to always put on the left side degrees. So that would be like 70 degrees over all of a circle, and all of a circle is 360 degrees. And then part uh, is, you know, the area that I know, or um, centimeters squared, meters squared, things like that. Um, if you're doing arc length, this would be 2 pi r in the bottom. If you're doing sector, this would be all the area of the circle, which is pi r squared. So, it's all very similar. One minor difference. One you use pi r squared, one you use 2 pi r. So, let's solve some. Let's do area of this sector. So, we got that proportion we need to set up. I know 80 degrees of the circle. Whole circle is 360. I don't know the blue area, so that's x. And I do know all the area of the circle is pi r squared. So 80 over 360 equals x over pi 7 squared. And pi 7 squared, well, we know 7 squared is 49. Okay. So now we've got to solve for x. Now some people, you got to figure out how you're best going to remember to do this. Some people understand they just need to multiply by pi 49 on both sides in order to cancel that and be left with x. Some people want to have only part of your thing disappear. Some people want to think about it as cross multiplying. but only doing part of the cross multiplying because I really don't want to take the 360 and multiply it by x because I'm trying to find x. Why put something else with it? So some people understand we're just going to do that. Well, I've just written the same thing two different ways. So whichever way you understand it. We're going to do pi times 49 times 80 divide by 360 and that will get you x. So our answers might differ slightly because you might use 3.14 as an approximation for pi. Um, and I use the pi button. And also pi buttons on calculators, my calculator might do different decimal places. Yours might do others. Uh, mine might go to 10 decimal places. Yours might only go to 8 decimal places. Pi times 49 times 80 divided by 360, and the answer comes out to be 34.21. 34.21 inches squared, because I started with seven inches, and that's 49 inches squared, in degrees and degrees. All right, so we're just solving proportions. That's all we're doing. All right, what do we know here? We don't know how much of the circle we have, but we do know the part that we have is 100 centimeters squared. And we do know that the radius is 9, so this pi 9 squared. That's pi 9 centimeters squared. All right, so 9 squared is 81. So pi 81 centimeters squared. Well, the reason some people don't write units sometimes is because those are canceled. All right, we've got to get x by itself. 
Again, th think about whichever way you want. Do you just want to cross multiply this partly? Yeah, I want to bring the 360 up. Do you want to bring the pi 81 up to the x? Absolutely not. We would just have to take it away. You can if you, you can, but you got to take it away, so why put it there in the first place? Some people just need to think about it as, well, I'm going to multiply both sides by 360. We talked about the same thing two different ways. That's going to cancel. We're left with x equals 100 times 360 over pi 81. That random dot that was there. Be careful when you do this. You need to divide by pi and by 81. Some people have trouble with that. So, how is it? 100 times 360 equals. Divide that by pi equals. Divide that by 81 equals. 141.47 degrees. Now, my drawing might not be good. That might not be a good look at 141. I don't know. I was just drawing it at random. But the math says, the numbers say, that's 141 degrees. Let's try another one. We know 85 degrees. Awesome. We know 85 degrees out of 360 degrees. And we know part of that, that pie shape, just the pie wedge, just that, is 100 centimeters squared. What we don't know is that, pi r squared. We don't know the whole area. So you're going to be asked to find the whole area, basically that whole thing. You might be asked to find the radius, which means find the whole area, then you know, divide by pi, and square root. All right, do we want to cross multiply? Yes, we actually do. We need to bring that variable up to the numerator. You're also going to want to send the 360 across. So we got pi r squared times 85 equals 100 times 360. Again, we're asked to find the whole area. So that is actually that whole thing right there, pi r squared. So that is our x. That's our unknown. That's our empty blank box. So we got a, there's an 85 with it. Got to get rid of the 85. Divide by 85. So x, which happens to be pi r squared, equals 100 times 360 divided by 85. 100 times 360 equals divide 85 equals 423.53. Awesome, we found the whole area. Just knowing an angle, just knowing a wedge, just knowing a piece of our area. We knew the angle that it was, we knew that it was 100. Great. Now sometimes they're going to ask you to actually find r. Well, that's like one more step. Two, actually. We know that pi r squared is 423. So you'd have to divide by pi. Yeah, pi's on that same side, but you'd have to get rid of pi. So you have r squared equals some number. Well, I want r, r not r squared, so then you would Take the square root of both sides. Simple stuff. Okay? So it all comes down to solving this proportion. There's always a 360. Now again, mine will always be on the left bottom. Part of the circle over all the circle. And maybe they're going to ask us for how many degrees we got for the sector. We'd have to know the other two things. Maybe they're going to ask us for what's the area of the sector. We'd have to know the degrees, and we'd have to have a radius or a total area. Maybe they're going to want us to find the total area. Well, we'd have to know the partial area, and we'd have to know the angle that we got. There's only three ways to do this. That is area of a sector.